Hey YouTube, look what I can do. Front facing, rear facing. Front facing, rear facing. Front, rear, front, rear, front, rear, front, rear, front, rear, front, rear. Greetings YouTube. I'm MC Rocket and it is another glorious day in southern Utah and I'm out riding my motorcycle and now that I'm in the sun I can just flip my shade down watch this So I wanted to take a moment to talk about how I got into motorcycling. I guess I could say I was kind of born into it. My dad was into motorcycles, um, but not long after I was born, he sold his last one. Um, I think in large part because my mom hated motorcycles. but. I don't know, I guess it's kind of in my blood. But the first time I actually was in control of a motorcycle, I was 18, I was a senior in high school, and my friend Hiram, who was a year older than me, had already graduated. He had moved down to Phoenix, Arizona. I was living in Heber, Arizona, about two and a half hours away. But while in Phoenix, he bought an old 1979 Kawasaki motorcycle, 650 cc's, inline four cylinder engine. He bought that to get around on, to get to work and whatnot. Well, one weekend he rode it home to Heber and he came over to my house on it. So, we're getting ready to get on the freeway here. And you guys all know how I feel about getting on the freeway on my motorcycle. That I enjoy it immensely. Except for when I'm stuck behind somebody. Then I don't enjoy it so much. But that happens sometimes. let me ride his motorcycle um, I was already familiar with the mechanics of clutch and manual shift because I was raised on a stick shift so he taught me the basic mechanics of how to control the motorcycle clutch with your left hand shift with your left foot and so we rode the bike together with me in control over to my friend, my other friend's house. Anyway, that was my first taste. I was probably hooked at that moment. But right after high school, I left the country for two years. I spent two years in Ecuador, in South America. I got home and I moved to the Phoenix area and I never I never bought a motorcycle. I got a job, started going to school. I got married, started having kids. So later in life, we moved, my wife and I and our first child, we moved up to Utah, to Southern Utah. And we lived here for, I don't know, a year and a half or so. Before I got this really sweet job working for a big company, working in the IT, in the IT department. 
and the company that I was working for was about six minutes away from my house. Well, my wife, Heather, when I, while I was in the interview process for getting the job, she said, you know what? If and when you get this job, you should get yourself a scooter to get to and from work. <laughs> so that day, I went to the Kawasaki dealership looking for a scooter and I found my first motorcycle, the Kawasaki Ninja 250R. That was back in 2004. It was brand new, so it was a 2004 model. And I rode that thing everywhere. I rode it through the winter, rode it through the summer. Well, about a year and a half later, I went on a ride with a couple of my friends. One of my friends had a GSX-R750. The other had a Buell, I believe it was a 1200. And we decided to ride our bikes up to a ski resort. And this was in the summer, so we weren't riding there to do any skiing. We were just going for a ride. Well, my poor little Ninja 250R sputtered all the way up the mountain. It got me there, but I had a really hard time keeping up because my friend's bikes were fuel injected and ran perfectly. I sputtered all the way up the mountain. Once I got to the top of the mountain, I was fine. My bike was carbureted. Everything had adjusted to the altitude change. Going down the mountain, I sputtered all the way down the mountain. It was that day that I decided I needed to get something bigger. And I traded, I went directly to the, the dealership, the motorcycle dealership in St. George. And I traded my Ninja 250R for 2005 Suzuki SV650S. Loved that bike. And I had that bike for many years afterwards. And then back in 2012, that SV650S started to, uh, well, it was always a good bike, always very reliable, but there were a lot of things that needed to be done to it. Um, it needed new tires, it needed a new seat, it needed a valve adjustment because I couldn't keep the thing running unless I had my hand on the throttle. So I was going to have to spend eh, between $600 and $800 on it just to fix everything. And my family wanted to go on vacation. So, I sold the bike, and I used that money to take my family on vacation. And ever since then, I was wishing that I had just held on to the bike, fixed it when I could. But for the last seven years, I've been without a bike until I bought my 2019 Kawasaki Ninja ZX6R and I'm loving it and I promise I will never be without a bike again as long as I can swing one leg over one. Man, it's I can tell already it's going to be a hot day. What does my bike say the temperature is right now? 78 degrees and it's just a little bit after 7 o'clock. It's starting to get really hot in southern Utah. I'm trying to get better at blipping my engine when I downshift. Oh, 
wow, nice stop, dude. I know, I'm going a little fast this morning. It's just that I'm so excited to get to work. Because I have caffeine waiting for me there. That's the only reason. This engine sounds at high RPMs. I'll love it even more when I put a new exhaust on it. So I want to do another video where I talk about the mods that I plan on doing and maybe get some opinions from you guys. I know what I want to do to the Undertale, um, but I'm up in the air about two different exhaust slip-ons that I want to use um, but I'll I'll talk about all that in another video yep that is definitely how fast I'm going thanks for letting me know but I do have a speedometer for that so cool owning a motorcycle it's like you're part of an exclusive club everybody waves to each other when they pass each other it's fun and here we are with the big red mountain before us which means my ride is coming to an end remember to subscribe also click that little bell thingy on your YouTube page that'll notify you when new videos are posted and remember to like us on Facebook as well we post things there from time to time and remember life is better on two wheels so ride safe <laughs>